This is the first image of the crippled father accused of causing or permitting his 12-year-old son's death in a hit and run accident while strolling on the M62. Matthew Rickruft, 36, shown above during his mother Julie and stepfather Brian Reeves wedding, is accused of crashing an Audi Q5 on the slip road to Hotshed Moor services near Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, at around 9.50 p.m. On Saturday, he and his son Callum exited the car and were walking down the eastern carriageway of the highway between junctions 25 and 26 when they were hit by a Toyota CHR. Callum was slain, while his father received minor injuries. The Toyota driver, a 47-year-old male from Bolton, Greater Manchester, was detained and later released on bail awaiting further investigation. Rickruft arrived in court Wednesday morning with cuts, grazes, and bruises on his forehead and right face. He spoke simply to confirm his name, age, and residence while flanked by two dock police and clothed in grey tracksuit bottoms and a hoodie. Rickruft, of Knollview, Leeds, has been charged with three counts of enabling or causing the death of a child, has a distriving and failing to submit a specimen at Leeds General Infirmary. The risky driving is said to have occurred on North Street and Luck Lane in Huddersfield's Marsh District soon before the highway tragedy. Prosecutor Vanessa Jones described Callum's death as very tragic and requested District Judge David Kitson to remand Rickruft in jail until his appearance at Leeds Crown Court. Louise Stead, the defendant, did not seek bail. There were no members of Callum's family in the public gallery throughout the two-minute hearing. Rickruft, who was emotionless in court, will be back in court on September 5th, according to Judge Kitson. Callum's mother paid homage to her son in a statement. Callum was a wonderful happy soul who was distinctive, tremendous fun, and larger than life, she added. He filled any space with light, laughter, and noise. Callum made a huge impression on everyone he encountered. The home is eerily silent without him. We are horrified by what has occurred and ask that people accept our plea for privacy at this difficult time. We appreciate all of the encouragement and kind feedback. Officers from West Yorkshire Police are still investigating the accident.